Powering a police force and entering one of the most sacred federal government buildings. Tonight, News Nation has learned the chief of the Capitol Police has resigned, as the officers union called yesterday a failure in leadership. The Associated Press reporting that the Capitol Police Department turned down offers for more assistance in the days leading up to yesterday's siege. The news coming as officials try to answer two questions. How did this happen? And what kind of consequences will there be? Correspondent Tom Negevin joining us live tonight with those details. Tom? And more, Joe. Multiple sources now telling News Nation's D.C. Bureau that one of the Capitol Police officers injured in yesterday's melee has died. The chief of the Capitol Hill Police says his last day is January 16th. No question the agency failed to protect Capitol Hill, even as many of the rioters posted on social media exactly what they were planning to do, then live streamed as they did it. How is the question tonight? How was this allowed to happen? Capitol Police completely overwhelmed by a wild, out-of-control mob bent on destruction. Thousands swarming the hill and breaching the Capitol after violently confronting police, securing the electoral vote count about to begin inside. By the time reinforcements arrived, D.C. police and the National Guard, congressional offices had been ransacked. Lawmakers and the media evacuated. Officers had barricaded the House chamber. Guns pointed at the doors. And four people were dead or dying. The men and women of the Metropolitan Police Department went into a situation that was already out of control. And it got that way almost immediately. Federal law enforcement completely caught off guard by the sheer number of people who stormed Capitol Hill. A statement tonight from FBI Director Christopher Wray. As we've said consistently, we do not tolerate violent agitators and extremists who use the guise of First Amendment protected activity to incite violence and wreak havoc. Make no mistake, he says, with our partners, we will hold accountable those who participated in yesterday's siege of the Capitol. Many of those people, it seems, proudly building a case against themselves on social media, including a selfie with a police officer inside the Capitol. The group behaving, some observers say, exactly as they believe they were told to at the president's rally earlier in the day. So, let's have trial by combat. One law enforcement source telling News Nation the police response, while indefensible, was simply a numbers game, lost before it began. I've classified it already. I think that a more robust presence on the grounds of the Capitol would, um, would have prevented people from getting into the building. And tonight, a statement from Capitol Police says the agency's officers responded valiantly to violent attacks involving weapons. But some observers around the country are taking note of the response this time as compared to the Black Lives Matter protests here in Washington over the summer. We'll take a closer look at that in our next hour, live on Capitol Hill. Tom Negevin, News Nation.